more profits to we smart traders so in this video we are going to be learning how to find how to create how to configure gate.io api key and add it to third party apps so before we continue let us briefly look at what an api key is so an api key can be considered as a username that is generated to allow access to data in this video the gate.io api is generated by the exchange and you can then pass it on to another application the application will then import your data from gate.io based on the permission you allow it for so an api secret also referred to as api private key is simply a password used in combination with the api key so let us get on it now this is our gate.io interface so once you are logged in you head straight to where you have your account so if you have not registered on gate.io do well to register with the link in the description so in your account you head straight down to api management so click on it and it should open to this new section so you have profile kyc sub accounts and api sub account api version 2 keys api version 4 keys now look at what it says here use api version 2 to automate your trading for reference check api documents for details so this can be used within the gate.io platform but the one that will involve you using it for third-party apps is the api version 4 keys so to set up api version 2 you just go ahead to input your phone password sms code and google authentication code then you click on show api version 2 keys so but that is not our business for this video so let's head straight to api version 4 keys so once it opens you should see an interface like this so you have test api version 4 keys api version 4 keys management so i have already created api is that all right so the api that i created will be shown here so we actually want to create a new api so we don't have any business for testnet api version 4 keys supposing there's anything testnet they are doing you can go ahead to create this is that all right so click on create new api key so once you click on that this should come out create api key so the remark is what application are you creating this api for you can create several apis so what application are you creating this api for so supposing i want to create this api for trading view so this is just a video to show us how to okay so we are actually not going to be using it so after this video be sure that this api creator will be deleted so permissions so you have multiple choice so for spots and margin so you select either read only or read and write so i'm going to select read only so read and write means it can read as well as it can write by writing means it can edit that is make trade for you or it can carry out sell orders or carry out buy orders is all right so for this so you can just select for more security just select read only for the application that you want to integrate your api key with except otherwise stated does that make sense so you can also add ip whitelist so some ip address that you don't want to be queried supposing they are being accessed from another location so since i don't have any ip i can go ahead to confirm and create so before i can even create this i must input my phone password so i'll just uh, paste it there then the two-factor google authentication so i have two options either sms verification or google authentication so i input the google authentication code so locate your google authentication app either on your smartphone or on your pc 
so I'm going to check it out on my smartphone now. So after your Google authentication code has been successfully entered, you hit on what? OK. So this is the key. All right. So you can generate the QR code and scan it appropriately and you can copy it as the case may be. Is that right? So you have the secret and you have the secret key. So some platforms will require you to actually copy the whole of this as it is. Some will require you to enter this separately. So whichever one that is needed, go ahead to do it accordingly. So the permission is for spots, it's read only, delivery contract read only, perpetual contract read only. So there's no IP whitelist. So the above API keys allow you to query account information and trade. Don't leak it to anyone. So for the sake of this video, this is available for everyone to see. So I can go ahead to it what? Okay. And this is created. So it will be added to number two. I see the trading view API key. So I can go ahead to view it. But if I can view it, I have to input font password again. I can go ahead to edit it accordingly. Or I can go ahead to delete it. So we are deleting it. All right. Is that right? So API deleted successfully. Is that right? Now, the thing is that the way API key is created on Git.io, so also it is on Binance or any other exchange. It's just that the steps might vary, but it's actually the same process. Hope you got value in this video. If you have any question, drop it in the comment section below. Also like and share this video to as many crypto enthusiasts that you can think of. Support our channel by smashing that subscribe button right away. Remember to do one thing, always trade responsibly. Peace out.